Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today the setting is a little bit different. Today we are in my kitchen because this Sunday is Super Bowl Sunday and I wanted to try out some of the recipes that I found that are keto friendly. Now if you don't know, Nico and I do the keto diet. We've been doing so since July and it's been amazing so far. We've gotten amazing results from it. So I definitely wanted to be able to bring that aspect to our Super Bowl party this Sunday. There are a ton of recipes that replicate your usual appetizers like fries and chili and things like that. So in this video, I'm gonna dive into creating some of those things. Now, all of the recipes that I'm using in this video are from keto blogs that I follow. So I'll definitely give a shout out and um, in the description below, I'll put where I got the recipe from, the link, and I'll try to make this as comprehensive as possible never done a cooking video before we'll see how it goes but i really hope you enjoy the video and of course as always please remember to subscribe and join me on the rest of my adventures okay so we're starting off with the keto chili and you will need one onion or half of an onion for this so you just see me chopping it up and a good tip that I have when you're chopping up onions is to either do it by running water or to light a candle while you're doing it and let me tell you it will help a hundred percent when it comes to stopping from looking like you're just sobbing <laughs> And then you're also going to chop up one bell pepper, one green bell pepper. I absolutely love bell peppers. You can see I snuck a little snack in there. And you're just gonna dice this up. Um, and then once you're done with that, you're gonna end up throwing it into a pan, which you guys will see in a moment. But just make sure you get it kind of small. Um, I was actually very happy that I was pretty diligent with dicing it when it came to putting it in the chili. And now I'm just going to put in the same bowl as the onions. And there's a Bernie. No need for a vacuum, not when you have a wild Bernie roaming the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got the new wave out. I absolutely love this induction cooker. And we're gonna put some Kerrygold butter in there. And right now I have the ground beef defrosting and I'm just sauteing up the onions and peppers and some butter. I just put that cover over it, which steamed them up really nice and let me get a good brown on them. And then I just put the defrosted ground beef into the pan and let that brown up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the preheated crock pot. Alright, and now we have our spices, our coriander, our garlic, our cayenne, our chili, and our cumin. And I'm just going to go ahead and put all of those right on top of the meat. And then also a little bit of salt and then some pepper and then I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit just make sure everything's seasoned very well and then I'm gonna get this can it's one can of the 28 ounce tomatoes and it is half a cup of water I just swirl it around in there, um, especially if the recipe calls for water, and I just make sure I get all the extra tomato sauce out. And now this will cook for two hours on high. Now we're on to the avocado fries, where we need some salt, chili powder, garlic, and pork panko breadcrumbs, and of course, avocados. Here I am cutting them open and prepping them, and you'll see me change up the slicing technique that I do. The first technique I use is kind of like plucking it out of the avocado, and that got way too difficult after, and I was losing the integrity of the fry shape of the avocado slices. And you'll see me change to a different technique, which I definitely recommend. 
So for this one, this is where I just slice through the avocado and just peel the skin off. And I'm not really sure why I didn't try that to begin with, but it literally made my life so much easier once I got to this point. As you can see, it's just literally sliced through the skin. And then on the last avocado, I just turned it over on its side and sliced it through that way. And I just kind of cut off the top a little bit because it was a little bit uneven. And again, easy peasy, just peel the skin off and those fries held together so much better than if I had just kind of plucked them out with a knife. And of course, here are the seasonings. Here we have about a cup of the pork panko, and now I'm just putting all the seasonings. I used about half a tablespoon or a tablespoon of these seasonings each, and I'm just mixing it up with the fork. Makes it really easy. Um, I have my baking sheet here with the silicone mat on it, which makes cleanup super easy. And I also switched up my breading technique with this as well. Um, courtesy of Nico. So we got some avocado oil to dip the avocados in and the breading stuck a lot better this way than it did without the um, avocado oil. So I was pretty happy about that. And this process went really fast. And I saved the extra breadcrumbs for later to sprinkle on top. And I stuck it in the oven for 25 minutes on 400. Okay, now I'm on to the keto cornbread, which requires eggs, kosher salt, baking powder, butter, cheddar cheese, and of course those are all the things measured out, all the ingredients. And at first I start with all of the dry ingredients, whisk it together, and then I add in the wet ingredients, so here are the eggs, and I mix this together first before adding anything else it makes it a little bit easier and then i put the cheese in and oh my god this cheese is so good when you put it oh, it just makes everything so much better and then i put the butter in and i kind of fold it in to make it a little bit easier for me to uh, really get the butter incorporated and there's the wild bernie and here are some silicone uh, muffin tins. I absolutely love these. You can get them off Amazon. I could put the link down below, but I absolutely love these. It makes life so much easier. And I use just regular cooking spray. Um, I've tried avocado oil spray and for some reason it just never works in my favor. So I've given up unfortunately. <laughs> and then this batter made about six of them. And then I put it in the oven for 13 minutes, but I do recommend 15. And now I'm moving on to the buffalo chicken dip. Okay, so now I'm just shredding the chicken. I boiled it to make it really nice and tender. And now I'm putting some Frank's Red Hot. Take the cap off, people, because we're putting a lot in here. A whole brick of cream cheese, and then just mix it up real nice and good. And now you're gonna put half of the mixture into a oven safe dish and kind of spread it out, make sure it's all even. You can get some blue cheese crumbles. I love the Amish blue cheese crumbles. Um, and then you're also gonna get some shredded cheddar cheese, put it on top. And then you're gonna put on the rest of the mixture on top of that. And again, you're gonna layer some blue cheese and some cheddar cheese. Put a little bit more of hot sauce on top. You're gonna stick it in the oven just so it's nice and bubbly. Alrighty, two hours later and we are finally done with the dishes. They were easy to do, but I'm hot because the oven's been on for forever. But now I took some pictures, they're all plated, they're ready for Nico and I to eat. So on to seeing what the master chef over here thinks of the dishes. Are you excited for it, Nico? He says absolutely. I am too, because I always like trying out new keto recipes because it just makes life easier when you can still eat the things that you used to love and you still do love, but you can't eat because of a certain diet. But there's always a lot of substitutes, so I'm super excited, especially for the avocado fries. Stay tuned. And now I wait. I wait for Nico. What? 
to get here. It's recording. Okay, Google. Dim living room lights, 20%. Okay, dim room lights by 20%. Okay, Google. Dim living room lights by 60%. Sure, there we go. So you're going there for an avocado fried. Dipping in some ranch. It's good. But that was a little salty. Okay. I can't remember how much salt was in it. It was good. Okay. When I think that might be a little bit better in, in the air fryer. Oh, true. Touche. Touche. Okay. Mmm. It's really creamy. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but I see what you're saying about the salt. Yeah, we definitely do with a lot of salt. But also when I was cooking these, you go, you have the bright idea to dip them in a little bit of avocado oil and then bread them so it sticks a little bit better, which I definitely recommend. Okay, so, good. It's one serving. A little tiny, that's probably really hot. That's yeah, really hot. <laughs> This is a buffalo chicken dip. It's good. Yeah. This was super, super easy and super quick to make. The only um, thing there is just the uh, uh, sauce of it mm -hmm. isn't is kind of seems to be on the top, or maybe it's just a scoop I had. I can see what you're saying. But I did put like a good serving in it, like for a second pour of hot sauce. Yeah. But I like that it's not too spicy. Yeah. A little overly creamy, basically. Gotcha. Well, it's literally a whole brick of cream cheese. Overly creamy. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Um, so, now we have our main dishes that's our actual dinner. The muffins. <laughs> We have the chili with some sour cream and cheddar on the top. And ooh, these look really good. I feel like. Very uh, fluffy. Yeah. This is so nice moist. Throughout. Very moist. So many times. We've made like different bread recipes and the bread comes out tough, but I will say that the almond flour and the egg, um, and so the it's all almond flour, egg and cheese, the cheddar cheese has never failed. Like the any, big three. Yeah. Butter to, and then you just add butter if it's not yeah. liquid enough. Yeah. If it's too doughy, you yeah. have more butter. Mmm. Well, I didn't think the chili was gonna come out that flavorful. It's a little sweet because of maybe too much tomato, but it's yeah. a whole, it's a whole can of uh, yeah. crushed tomatoes. That's also something that's really interesting. Tomatoes are sweet. Yeah, tomatoes <laughs> are very sweet when you eat them on keto. But thankfully, the serving size that you have. This is pretty, we're getting a minute amount of carbs. So overall, what is your opinion on all the, on the appetizers or? Appetizers, very good. All right, oh, this is a, can we say 10 out of 10? Nope. Never 10 out of 10? There's always room to improve? No, you can get to 10 out of 10. I don't know. I'd say 
Okay, we'll go one by Six or seven out of ten. Six and a half out of ten for the avocado fries. Okay, and what about the cornbread? The cornbread's definitely a solid uh, eight out of ten. Okay. Chili is a six out of ten, and the buffalo dips a seven out of ten. And it's because the chili's a little bit sweet? Chili's a little bit sweet. Gotcha. All right. Winner of the night, muffins. <laughs> cornbread. There we go. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in on this episode of cooking with Sammy and commentary by Nico my main panelist <laughs> feeling what you get getting on the show I mean it's okay turned her down. yeah definitely all Bernie's turned me down 